make sure the Census Omni water meter is the C2, F2, or T2 model. If you have an R2 meter dial, you can request a replacement from your utility provider to support a pulse output. If you already have a sensor relay, just confirm that the light is blinking green. Otherwise, plug it in. It may take several minutes to upgrade its firmware. Check that the LED has gone green by the end of the install. Activate the Flowio by inserting the batteries in the correct orientation. And when you put the cover back on, make sure you hear those clicks. Find the white gray pulse output cable. If there's a black cap, just slide or cut it off. Push the pulse output cable through the connector. Strip one inch off of the outer jacket of the pulse output cable to expose the red, green, and black wires. Make sure there are no cuts in the insulation of these wires. Strip 3 eighths of an inch off of each wire. Insert the three wires into the terminals and snap the levers closed. Make sure that the color of the wire matches the terminal and that the wires are pushed fully to the bottom. Tug on each wire to make sure it's secured. Thread the connector tightly closed. And tighten the outer part as tightly as you can to create a snug waterproof seal. Remove the rubber plug and insert the pulse cable. Ensure that it's inserted as far as possible in order to achieve a waterproof seal. Strap Flowio onto the water meter or a place nearby. Flowio should be in a location where it will not be moved and where the pulse cable will not be disconnected. Check that the sensor relay LED is green. If Flowio is installed in a pit, it should be secured as high as possible to maximize the communication strength to the sensor relay and to avoid being submerged. Register Flowio's serial number by using the app or going to app.alertlabs.com.